Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm recording a Honey Bum clothing haul. Now this is my first clothing order I've ever placed on honeybum.com. And let me just say, I have some feedback. As a Canadian, I know that I'm always supposed to be ready to accept customs and duties, but I just don't wanna. It's really frustrating when you get a package to your door and you're so excited to open it, and then they're like, oh, and you just have to pay this small fee of $25. Or in past orders, it's been 50, 100, 75. It's a little bit frustrating just because you feel like you're getting the clothes for a steal, you're getting them on sale, and then when the package actually shows up at your door, you have to pay even more for the clothes you had purchased. Now I know I can always send them back, but honestly, it's not worth the time and energy to do so. I'd have to pay return shipping. I've now paid customs, but I guess at the time of the door, I wouldn't have paid the customs yet. I could have just sent it right back. But then I wouldn't have been able to review these clothes for you guys. Anyway, enough negativity for this video. Let's start with some positivity. Honeybum is having a 40% off site-wide sale. They do tend to have these quite often throughout the year, not just on like Black Friday and Boxing Day and Boxing Week. So I decided to make the plunge. I say plunge, but I only purchased four items. I needed a few more things in my like fall and winter wardrobe just because I don't have a lot of like more going out clothes that still make you look put together but are trendy. I have a lot of athleisure wear and casual wear and baggy t-shirts and like that's not always gonna cut it so I wanted to have some more like turtleneck dresses and you know maybe crop tops that are also with a turtleneck and not like short sleeve and like extremely cropped. So that's what I went ahead and purchased. I have my slip here that has what I ordered and the prices of each and the sizes. So I will be going over those thoroughly throughout this video for you guys. If you guys haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to my channel, the notification bell and the thumbs up button so I know to film more future videos like it. Let's get on started with this haul. So it came in this big honey bum orange bag. And like I mentioned, I purchased four items. So the first one I'm gonna go over is actually the item I'm currently wearing. And it is called the Feelin' It Turtleneck Dress in Black. And this was $28.90. And I got it in a size medium. I purchased everything in a size medium and I'll quickly throw my measurements up on the screen here. So. Let me just say that this material makes your bum look so good. Any type of like sweater dress type material I always find is pretty flattering on the back side of me. On the front side, if I don't have, you know, my abs that morning or that day, um, it will show a little bit of a pooch if you have one. So unless you have like a washboard ab set, uh, this does show every lump and bump. Aside from that, this was a to get on my body. It was so tight, the neck hole was like unbelievably tight. I don't know how anyone can get their head through this. It's not even like I have an abnormally large head. So I felt like I was kind of ruining my makeup and my hair at the same time. And I was like, oh, kill me now as I was pulling it over my head. I wish it was a little bit longer in length. I know it's supposed to be like a mini-ish dress, but a mini dress is like an extreme mini dress on people who are like, I would say five, seven and over. I can't really talk to the five sixers I'm between 5'7 and 5'8, but I find that I do struggle with dresses sometimes because of my height and like everywhere else it fits except, you know, the bottom half in length wise. So if this was more of a midi dress, like hitting more of my knee, almost maybe to my calf, that would be so much more acceptable for me. So I can't say much more about this dress. Let's move on to the other color. So I also got the Feelin' It turtleneck dress in the red wine color, also the same price, $28.90 in a size medium. This one I did find was a little bit stretchier. I wouldn't say it's bigger. It just had more of a stretch to it. So to get on, it wasn't as difficult. Um, I forgot to mention in the black dress and in the red dress too, they have thumb holes. The thumb holes in the black dress absolutely like were cutting off my circulation. I would never put my thumb through that on a daily basis. But the red wine dress, I found that I could and I wasn't like suffocating. The red wine dress also felt like it had a little bit more in length and I double checked the dresses and they're both a medium. I know sometimes it differs from color to color, but I would say the red wine, I definitely felt more comfortable. I would definitely be able to wear it in public. It wouldn't be constantly riding up my bum. And I mean, come on, the color's absolutely stunning for Christmas, for Valentine's Day holiday parties, events. Like I said, this type of material just looks really flattering on the back side of the body. And I really like how it's like ribbed. I find that that's kind of one of my 
materials I favor and like the style for bodycon dresses for sure. The next item I got was the high standards oversized turtleneck sweater. And of course, I also purchased this in the medium and I got this in the shade purple. There was another color I wanted to get. I wanted to say it was maybe black. Of course, it was sold out, but I was like, you know what? Maybe this is the world telling me I need to be trying other colors and not make my wardrobe so dark and dreary. So I went ahead with the purple. It's not like it's a super vibrant color. It's a muted, more mauve shade. And I actually really like this piece. I knew it would be a little bit shorter because on the model it looked a little short too, but it was oversized and I could already think of a couple different ways to style it. The price of this dress was $48.90. So the material is so, so soft. It almost feels like a wool, but not an itchy wool. It's a softer blend and it was no problem getting it over my head. I did find that there was a lot of excess fabric where the turtleneck actually is. I'm doing this because I could literally pull it over my entire face and then pull it back down. There's a lot of material there, but honestly, it just feels like I'm getting a nice big giant hug from this uh, turtleneck sweater. It's very, very comfortable. And I showed in the try on clip that I paired it with some high knee socks from Steve Madden and I feel like I would style that with some black suede boots maybe, um, a big like chunky blanket scarf and like a big oversized bag and a toque and like there's my winter outfit right there. When it is colder in the winter months here in Canada, I think I would put a pair of leggings on underneath. Overall, I am pretty happy with this piece. I also don't have anything else like it in my wardrobe. I do have a couple of chunkier sweaters, but they're not like sweater dresses. So they stop like obviously right at my waist. This one is like mid thigh, upper thigh. We're really pushing it. <laughs> but like I said, you can throw on some shorts underneath to make yourself feel more comfortable and be able to actually wear it in public or you can throw on some leggings, some jeans, whatever it really works. Whatever is really your personal preference on how you wanna style the piece. And I guess it also depends what climate you live in. The last piece I got was the Tell No Lies turtleneck top in medium in the white shade. I did originally have the black shade also put in my cart and I kind of regret not getting that one as well, just because in this clip you'll see, I'm wearing a nude colored Victoria's Secret sports bra underneath and you can kind of see the outline of the bra, which is a little frustrating because you're like, wow, this material is so thin. You can see everything. Like in the back, you can see, you know, a little bit of back fat, like where the bra kind of cuts in a bit and there's like the straps. So I don't love that, but you can only see it in certain lighting. So I'm a little confused whether you can actually see the bra outline. I do find that the sleeves are a little bit long. They also have thumb holes, but with those thumb holes, the extra fabric, once you place it on your hand, comes like up to here on my fingers, which is a little bit excessive. I wouldn't be able to do my daily things because I feel like that would get in the way. Plus it's white, so it's obviously gonna get dirty quicker. And if I purchased the black, I feel like I'd be able to put to the test a little more whether you can see, you know, the bra pads and if it was the exact same type of thinness. Because like I said, it varies sometimes color to color, even if it's the exact same piece from a brand. Well, those were all four pieces. To give a roundup, I would say I would purchase everything again other than the feeling it turtleneck dress in black. I just find that I will never actually wear this because if I take one step, the dress rides up and it is a lot more tight than the red wine dress. And I also think that they are great additions to my fall and winter wardrobe for living in Canada. There was also no international shipping on my order because I do believe that I purchased over a certain threshold. So I got allotted that free shipping and I got that charge kind of waived. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't a lot to haul, but I did want to give my thoughts on Honey Bum because I have heard of them for so, so long and just never made the plunge to purchase some items. Now I have done so, you have seen my review. Will I purchase from them again? Maybe, but getting hit by the duties or customs and the one item that really just did not fit accurately to what I thought it would, I feel like I am losing out on a little bit of money there. So the answer is we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys all in my next video.